Howdy YouTubers. This disease of model rarityng is, is a bad one. Um, I'm already thinking about expansion, but I want to get some insights in your in the comments. So I love the way this layout is set up and the way it functions operationally, but there's 22 inches of space right there. And what it would do is I could put a switch right here and then I can have this um, track for the ADM facility come out a bit further so that I can move the ADM facility on the inside so that I'm not reaching over it to do the switching. And then off this side of the switch, and I'll show you a picture of what the layout would look like. I could have another track that would come out and extend all the way out into this 22 inch space and then have a runaround that goes onto the main that's already there, which is here, if you can envision that. So basically what would come out into this space would be the ADM track would come out a bit further, the, f the facility would flip over onto the inside and then this main, sorry, this new track that parallels the main would come out and then have a switch to do a run around onto the main. And the main would also extend all the way out. So you have two tracks that extend out. I may just extend this just a bit, the siding for the storage facility. And then I'll, then I'll have some blank space for some trees because right now I don't have a lot of blank space. I don't want to just jam pack everything with track. So. It would give me a runaround at this far end of the layout and it would move that ADM facility on the other side of the track. Um, you know, these things always pose challenges, but it's a, it's an easier expansion than, you know, adding another L or adding a, another leg to make it an L. Um, it'd be a bit challenging to extend that light balance. Um, the bench work would be pretty easy. I could just put another module of the sievers. They make them in any length and they're pretty inexpensive when you get into just small pieces like that. So that's the thinking. Let me just tag on a picture of what I'm talking about on the track plan and I want to get some, some thoughts from y'all in the comments. Okay, so here's the current plan. So the trains, there, there are a couple of runarounds back here. And when you're switching, there's two cuts of cars that come out of these interchange tracks, so the small yard here. And when you're switching here, you pull the train out and you back in, put the train here, take it apart and start switching here. And then there's four cars on this end, which are usually shoving this way. So it works. It works great. It gives you switching in multiple directions and there's one, two, three, one, two, three, four industries, but there's actually more because there's three cars here, two cars here, two cars here, two cars here. So you basically got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine industries, if you think of it that way. And then there's engines that have to be swapped around for the fueling pad after each cut of cars. So there's some work that has to be done there. So now let me show you what an expansion might look like. If I added the 22 inches, you can see what changes here. So this ADM track comes out at more of a, more of a sharp angle, which means I can move the facility on the other side. It makes for easier switching, you know, reaching over the building. But probably more importantly, it adds another, so there's a switch then get added here before the ADM siding. And then that has a parallel track to the main. And that's where I can do a runaround track. So I'd extend the main out and then extend this new track out. And then that gives me the opportunity for a runaround on this end of the layout, as well as the runarounds I have on this end of the layout. What it also does is I can stage the full train with both cuts of cars, which is nine cars here at the beginning of an op session. 
and then it gives me enough length to pull the whole thing and clear the switches for the yard and then back it into the yard so you can back it into two cuts at the beginning of an op session. And then it, it provides parallel tracks so that now we can have two teams, a conductor and engineer, who once that train's in there, they can start sh shuttling the cars or shuffling the cars in these two tracks to just organize them. And there's a parallel track so they can be out of the way of, uh, one, one guy can grab a cut of cars and be switching and the other guy can take the other cut of cars and reorganize it. So there's, there's some opportunity for two teams. Not that I want a huge crowded area during an op session, but in theory that, that may allow for more operators. So it's an, it's a relatively easy addition. It's just adding that 22 inch section on the end. And then, um, after all that work I did on the crossing, it would mean I'd, I'd have to do a, make it into a four track crossing and pull up a lot of that work that I did there, but such is the life of a model router. So not sure yet hundred percent, but you know, how you, how this hobby goes, you get the itch and you, it's just a thought, which means it's probably going to happen at some point, but I also want to enjoy the current layout, um, before I start tearing things up. Let me know your thoughts. Um, we'll talk soon. Cheers.